Welcome to People Power in Politics. Hard talk, riveting interviews, community updates, in-depth analysis. That's People Power in Politics. We tell it to you as it is. No holds barred. You are the people, you have the power. We bring you the politics. To listen to our show, be a guest, or to advertise, visit www.pppradio.nyc. That's www.pppradio.nyc. Joining us is our special guest, New York Attorney General, the Honorable Letitia James. Welcome. Such a pleasure to have you with us today. Thank you so much, and good afternoon to all of your listeners. You're very welcome. Vice President Kamala Harris is the presumptive nominee on the Democratic ticket in the presidential elections in November 2024. Attorney General James, what specific qualities or achievements of Kamala Harris do you believe make her the best candidate for the presidency, and how do you see her leadership benefiting the nation in the current political climate? Kamala Harris is the most experienced candidate for the office of president. Um, She has more experience in the past four candidates for the president of these United States. She's a former district attorney in San Francisco, former attorney general of the great state of California, former former United States senator where she served on the Intelligence Committee. Um, And now she is vice president of these United States, traveling the nation over, traveling to over 30 countries on behalf of President Biden, engaging in foreign diplomacy um, and negotiating on behalf of the United States of America. She is um, more experienced, than, as I mentioned, than the past four presidents, and that's why all of us should support Kamala Harris. She is someone who will stand up for our rights, for our liberties, and for our freedom, and someone who recognizes the power of democracy as opposed to individuals who want to serve as a dictator and who, uh, again, want to suppress our right to vote, suppress our right to freedom, suppress our right uh, over our own bodies, Um, someone who obviously does not believe in clean air, in in environmental justice, and someone who basically wants to cater to the rich and and to major corporations in the state of New York and really does not care about people of color, and someone who does not recognize the power of diversity and the strength and the power of immigrants and what they contribute to these United States. It is for these reasons and more that I am proudly supporting Kamala Harris as the next president of these United States. And I urge everyone, particularly those who have family members in the battleground states of Pennsylvania, Michigan, Georgia, uh, Wisconsin, Nevada, um, and um, Arizona, please, please, please reach out to them, uh, call your unions, Uh, because Kamala Harris believes in working families and believes in the right to organize, whereas the other side wants to tear down unions and the right to organize, does not not believe in the right to organize, wants to create New York and other states as as a right-to-work state, which is a right-to-work for poverty wages. We need to make sure um, that we elect Kamala Harris, but it all comes down to those six battleground states, which is why we need to reach out to your civic association, your sororities, your sororities, um, your fraternities, your churches, your religious institutions, your block associations, your sisterhood, your brotherhood, wherever and whomever. Make calls to those six battleground states and get them out to vote and recognize that so many people died for the basic right to vote. And we will not allow the other side to take that away from us. We will stand in line in quiet defiance to what they are doing, um, focusing on hate, um, separating us based on artificial constructs, criticizing us based on race, um, criticizing Kamala Harris as a DEI candidate, um, insulting her intelligence and all that she has done, um, and, uh, again, blaming her for their failure to address the problems at the border. We need to support Kamala Harris and we need to come together and to do that. But again, it comes down to those six battleground states. Let's notify our family and friends um, and others in those battleground states that they need to vote their economic interests, vote Democrat, and make Kamala Harris um, and make history and make her the next president of these United States. 
Attorney General James, given your background as a prosecutor, how do you think Kamala Harris's experience as a former prosecutor and Attorney General will strengthen her position against the other party's candidate, who is a felon? Um, because she's in a position to prosecute felons, and she knows people who um, are, are, are um, similar to um, uh, the former president, who is now a felon. Um, she stood up to individuals like the former president. Um, she has stood up against banks who basically want to prey upon low-income people. Um, she has she um, t- has taken action as the attorney general against banks during the foreclosure crisis uh, when they attempted to foreclose on uh, on um, homes all throughout this nation. And she was able to achieve billions, millions, and millions of dollars for her constituents um, in the state of California as the attorney general. When she was the district attorney, she prosecuted criminals who committed crimes um, in San Francisco. When she was um, the district attorney in the Bay Area, she understands the rule of law. Um, She can stand up to bullies and she can stand up to felons. And she's in the best position to prosecute the former president of these United States by standing up to him. And that's why he's afraid to debate her. And that's why he obviously is calling her all kinds of names and dismissing her because he doesn't know how to deal with a powerful, powerful black woman. Thank you so much. Very, very well said. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. People power in politics, hard talk, riveting interviews, community updates, in-depth analysis. That's people power in politics. We tell it to you as it is. No holds barred. You are the people. You have the power. We bring you the politics. To listen to our show, be a guest, or to advertise, visit www.pppradio.nyc. That's www.pppradio.nyc.